Hola amigos, welcome back to another episode of Dungeons, Dragons and Space Shuttles. I just finished recording uh, a two episode back to back of the Enigmatica 2, so I hope I'm not that lost. I was looking in a, mi a second ago, I was looking for my time in a bottle there. <laughs> But last episode, guys, we managed to make finally uh, the Stool Forge, which I'm really happy about it because uh, somebody told me, I think it was Nemo, that we have... Oh, it's not in here. Oh, yes, it is. The laser gun. Oh, man. Yes. So, as you know, the in the uh, other um, series... Uh, we have the laser gun and especially I don't remember actually let me look for the uh, manual because there is the uh, was it lumium or something like that uh, Where did I put the manual here? All right, so if we take a look at the materials, I think lumix I don't know if it's lumix glimmer no darkness for me. Sometimes you get night vision. No, it's not that one I'm going to have to look around with it. Uh, electrum, refined glowstone, probably. Uh, nucleum, maybe it's going to be more difficult in here. Lumix, uh, okay, Illuminati. While the tool is in your hand, nearby entities that do not hold a tool with this straight glow and you become invisible. Yes, uh, whenever it gets too dark, you tool sacrifice part of itself. Uh, that is if we put it on the head. I'm not 100% sure if I want that. To sacrifice the tool just to make light. What if I don't want to make light? Oh, it, it, it does give that anyway. It doesn't matter where you put it. Mm. Uh, when you choose your hand. Okay, Illuminati. Is there a word to see Illuminati in here? Sassy and Illuminati. What the hell is Sassy? Illuminati, Illuminati and Glowing. So that one here is Glowing. So if we make Refined Glowstone. So I don't want the Glowing. Uh, so probably the Laser Medium will be what we want to do. Alright. So um, I'm not 100% sure about that. All right, so let's take a look at what we need in here. So the laser medium, let's uh, go ahead and make, is this one laser medium pattern? Okay, so let's make that one. I'm going to need probably this, the pipe uh, piece. And uh, what else? Uh, the battery cell. Uh, battery cell is this one. Pan pattern. No, it's not that one. It's probably this one. Battery cell. Okay, and the uh, tough tool rod that I think we should have. If not, okay, let's craft one. So we have everything in there. So we're going to need, uh, I'm going to make, uh, let's double check. Tool rod cast, that's the regular one. Okay, so we're going to need the uh, tough tool rod. Uh, we're going to need also the battery. Uh, this... Uh, we're gonna need these as well. I'm not sure if all of those uh, I need casting, but we'll probably uh, gonna make some. So let's uh, go ahead and grab some uh, gold. And how much gold do we have? Yeah, it's not that bad. I think with 16 of those will be more than enough. And uh, as well as I make the casting, I'm gonna take a look at what materials we need. So let's throw that in there. Uh, what is this one? Uh, the sword blade. All right, let's put that one in there. And this is off. Excellent. Was I smelting something? No. I still need to smelt this. Actually, that's not going in there. Uh, let's see. What do we want? I want for sure to have some kind, uh, probably the tool rod. All right, let's see here, the tool rod. Uh, I think we better start with the battery cell. Battery cell. Uh, what can we do and what is good? A magnetic? No. Uh, osmium. Oh, that's the capacity. Okay, so the better one is going to be the end speed. Uh, that's going to require... 
uh, end rods that were not accessible. Blaze rod is 85, so probably... Oh, manilium. Manilium is going to be a good one. All right, so let's grab manilium. Do I have some manilium smelted already? I have some, and I have a block. Okay, so probably the battery is going to be on manilium. So we know that one. This is stone. So yeah, that's going to be the best one. 120,000 ref. All right, so let's see here. Uh, we have the gold in there. So let's go ahead and do the battery first. Uh, we'll throw the manilium. Let me see because I don't remember the casting how much. Okay, so we need three pieces. So let's go like that and we'll put three pieces of manilium in there. Uh, so the next one is gonna be a stone pipe and laser medium laser medium uh, Not a lot of option probably stone our priest marine is not gonna be what we want uh, So the one we wanted is a illuminati this one here. So how do you make refined glowstone? It's just glowstone in there. I'm guessing uh let's see here how do we make glowstone ingot refined glowstone so ooh, that's not gonna be able to do that i thought there was something else we can use uh refined glowstone or glove trouble Glove tra Global Traveler is a good one also, but that's infinity. That's not going to be able to do that. Chaotic, laser. So the only one that can we make in here is refined glowstone. Oh boy. Uh, Android, blaze, certain squares. Can we make certain squares? Actually, we can make the certain squares, but that means that the uh, peace pies peace pie oh we have a lot of options so let's see which one has illuminati refined glowstone we know we cannot do right now anything else illuminati and glowing lumium oh that's thing but that's gonna give me glowing that i don't want but I don't think any other is going to give me that Illuminati that I want. Only refined glowstone and we won't be able to do that right now. So I guess Lumium is going to be the thing. And that is Energize, Glowstone, Molten Tin and Silver. And this is... What is this? Smelting, Glowstone. Yeah, that's the only one we're going to be able to make the lumium stuff All right let me add that in there okay so do we have uh molten manilium okay at least we got that and we know the other one is gonna be with search of squares because that's the only thing i i have uh oh i don't have certain scores yes i do okay so that's a pain i didn't want the glowing stuff in here uh, all right, so we have that one first piece um, Let's throw that in there anyway, actually, I'm gonna throw uh, the tool rod for now uh, So we have that one So let's see in here. Uh, can we make This one out of this yes, we can and that is gonna give me elemental uh, let's take a look at what elemental is. Materials, uh, circle squared, elemental. When gravity effect blocks are destroyed, break all blocks of the same type above and below. Also, a chance to gain various benefit from successful attack. All right, I think that's going to be for this for now. Uh, the tool rod. What should we use with the tool rod? Uh, all right, so we have those two. Let's do this one now. Uh, so I'll put that in there. I have one block left, so that's uh, more than enough. And these two can go in there. Now the tool rod, I'm gonna hold on to it because I want to see what else we put in there. 
Uh, so we have that one, and uh, what was the other one? The stone laser. I'm gonna make a cast anyway, even if we have that already. Uh, just in case we need it for the future, but we can put it in there. And the pipe piece, okay, so these two we're gonna need. Um, so we know that aluminum is the one we want, so we're gonna need a little bit of uh, glowstone. Uh, so that is what five glowstone and and that's gonna give me one bucket and for this we need uh, we need four so we're gonna need 20 glowstone so let's go ahead and grab 20 glowstone from here and that's gonna be enough and the rest is gonna be let's double check it here uh, molten tin and silver, so four pieces each. Uh, tin, we have four and silver, so that's silver actually, and I need tin. So I think that's gonna be it. So let's uh, let's add that in there, and we'll see if that makes it. And twenty glowstone, so we'll let that cook. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep and for the tool rod. I don't know. Should I go with copper because that's gonna give me the um, uh, The levels right uh, So I think I am gonna go with copper and that is three copper uh, So let's go ahead and do copper and see how good it at is that uh, at least we'll get it some modifiers and eventually uh, All right, so that's cooking I'm not going to throw the copper because I don't know if that's going to combine with the uh, tin or silver for some reason. So we have two pieces. I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, so we're doing uh, this in here right now. Okay, and let's see here. Oh man, glow, glowstone takes forever to, to smell, right? Electrum. Electrum? Why do I have electrum? Tin and gold... Oh man, I think because of the tin. Uh, four ingot of gold, man. All right, let's uh, let's remove the gold from there, and probably I'm gonna remove the electrum also. <laughs> All right. So we have tin. Uh, we're missing the silver. We have four more electrum ingots. I should have made a block. There you go. So uh, let's look for silver now. So we need four pieces of silver from here. I'm just going to throw that in there and this one there. Uh, actually, that can go in there as well. All right. So silver, we need four pieces of silver. We have that, we have that. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did this in here. This is the um, the uh, floating pure daisies, which is really nice because since I'm working mostly in inside, I don't want to um, go over there to make more of this living rock and living wood. And that's why I've been doing it over here. I just actually did that before starting the episode and, and doing other stuff. So now we can do uh, this in here. And that is really nice because I can do both one on top of the other one. There you go. All right. So let's take a look at that over there. Uh, that should be done. Uh, so energized glowstone and tin. All right. So now we need to combine the silver. Uh, excellent. That's going to give me that. And then I'm going to have to throw the copper in there. So we'll wait for that one. Uh, let's take a look at the quest book for a second. I was taking a look at the uh, botania. We did a lot of these already. What is this? Liquefy items. Uh, a comarine. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know why it's asking us to do a bell thorn. Uh, the easy functional flower to make is the bell thorn. It will lose its mana from nearby mana pools to hurt mobs, but not the players. I will never use it. I don't know how effective it will be. And in any case, if we want to do a mob farm, 
I'll go with the black magic and I go with evil craft probably uh, so let's see uh, molten lumium all right is that enough uh, four ingots uh, we need how much four okay so let's go ahead and do that one and uh, let's throw I guess I miscalculated <laughs> the uh, glowstone well doesn't matter we'll do that anyway and as soon as I have that one we'll pour the uh, copper here all right almost there there you go so we'll put that in there and let's prepare these so we have that one that one that one and we're just gonna miss the copper so this can go away copper is there excellent and uh, we'll see how good this is oh do i have to uh oh i have to charge it uh i'm gonna need a charger now oh man I totally forgot that you need to charge that. How good is this? Attack six. I'm doing uh, 15 on my sword and uh, damage tell. I don't remember this one, but anyway, 16 on the sword. This is not so good, but uh, well, we'll see. We'll see how good it will be eventually. Uh, so we have a laser, but I totally forgot that I have to charge this. Uh, I have some power over there, but I don't have a charger. Uh, I cannot charge it over there. Uh, what do we have? Uh, ah, I totally forgot. This is a charger for that. Uh, oh, energizer? No. Uh, yeah, energizer. Why? Uh, energizer. Jizer from actual edition, we have that one, but I don't know how difficult it would be. And Nori plates, Restonia, actually that's uh, that's doable. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and Nori plates. Uh, we have, all right, so let's do this one and see if we can make it actually. So let's put it in there. Uh, two silicon, four any kind of rock all right two, so two silicon plates okay and advanced coil i don't know if i have advanced coils uh, let's see here uh, no i don't but that's probably an easy recipe uh let's see can i craft it in there we'll probably need to craft the basic coils do i have that basic coils i've never crafted but i don't remember you never know because i've been uh, hunting around so much that sometimes you receive that stuff from chess maybe i don't know uh let's see here uh go there go there so i'm gonna need restonia black wars and a nori and i don't have any of that in here all right where is my so retonia and nori uh black wars oh i have a quest for that uh, black words uh, let's see so we need only two of those uh, I'm gonna need another one I'm missing a Restonia okay so I'm gonna need uh, let me grab some of these uh, I'm gonna throw that in there okay so that's gonna give me a lot of Restonia and let's make another one of these now we can use that one to make this one excellent so we have that uh basic control circuit oh don't tell me i don't have any no i don't i'm gonna have to craft another one uh how difficult it was it was the circuit plates transceiver mana steel all right you know what uh yeah i do have some of that stuff in here i think if not yeah i'm gonna craft that all right let me uh get all the materials to craft uh, the energizer and we can test it out all right guys so i think i have everything in here to craft this so let's go ahead and what am i missing silicon oh man I thought this was the silicon. All right, let me grab a piece of silicon in there. That should complete uh, these circuits. There are a pain to make up. We're probably missing uh, these holes. So 
So let me put that in there. Excellent. And that should should be everything we need. Of course, the Restonia that I just put away. Uh, what we don't need in here. Okay, we don't need this. Uh, let me put that and that in there. Uh, actually, the hammer I'm going to put in here. Man, uh, the, this is a disaster already, the inventory. Uh, so we need the four of these. And that should be it. Energizer. Excellent. Beam me up. Oh, man, the paper is always a pain to make. Uh, let's put all that in there. All right, so we have the energizer. We could put it anywhere, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. That should receive power. And can we charge this in here? That's the question. Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Uh, that's gonna take a while to charge, especially since uh, it's nighttime. So <laughs> let's sleep again. Um, so after that, uh, I was uh, wondering what to do next. Uh, now that we have that, well, actually, what to do next should be to go and test it. Uh, it's still charging? Yeah, it's still charging. And it has a lot of, uh, but I, I want to see, can I see? Oh, look at that. We have a mob right there. And it looks very, very... Oh, nice. And we do get these, even if it's through the walls. Whoa. We do get all the uh, the loot also. That's really, really nice. I love this weapon. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, everyone. Uh, let's see here. Can we go through the caves? And we can always uh, look around. I should come in nighttime. Uh, let's take a look in here if you can see more mobs. Uh, how much to... Whoa! Oh man, I totally... Jesus! Man, these guys are really, really fast, the creeper on this pack. Oh man. Uh, let's take a look in here. I want to test that illuminating stuff that it was talking about so let's go to an area that I haven't been there okay let's see here so if I grab it in here oh yes it's putting some light in there that is uh, that's really nice oh and that's the cave from Okay, so really cool. Really cool how it start illuminating the, the, all the areas. Oh, look at that. Nice. I didn't know about this. Alright, so let's go back home. Um, oops. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna go back home. Uh, meet you guys over there. What the hell? Oh.
All right, guys, so I'm back. Uh, let's see if we can do something on this in here, maybe the dark power gems and continue a little bit with uh, blood magic. Um, I don't know why I have the feeling that I did this before, but, but it's probably on the other pack. Uh, so the dark gem is like usual. You can use this blood infuser, but also uh, uh, the fluid transposer. But what we really need is, uh, let's see, where are my, where did I put that? In, in B, no. Uh, how about my, man, where did I put all my tools? That's the question. Uh, probably in here. I don't know. Uh, it should be on blood magic. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna have to uh, take a card in here and look for it because I don't know. Oh, there you go. Okay, here we are. All right. So the first thing we need is that uh, dark gem. And if I recall correctly, you can actually uh, we'll grab two because you can probably use it in here. Uh, let's see. Can I? Um, let's double check if that's what I. Okay, so the dark gem is a bunch of those. That's nine. Uh, way to craft this item by throwing a dark gem in a pool of at least five liquid. Yeah, so that's what I thought. All right, so let's put some blocks away. Uh, living rock. Okay, so we have that one, two, three. Okay, so that's gonna be enough. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, and we can throw one of that. Excellent. So that's gonna give me that power gem. And we'll receive another one for that quest. Now the blood infusion core is one surrounded by the hardened blood shard that we did before, I think, right? Yes, we have a few. All right, so let's go ahead and make that with one of these, and that's gonna be this one. Do I get another one in reward? No, I don't. Okay, that's too bad because we're probably gonna need it. Uh, okay, so after that, we need to do the blood infuser, and the blood infuser. Uh, is this recipe in here all right let's add it in here i'm just gonna remove uh, all this uh so that's bronze silicon two dark gem two of these yeah i knew we needed another one okay we'll see uh any other quests in here no all right so we need another one for this so let's go ahead and craft another one gonna need a little bit more blood so one, two, three, four, five. I will throw one of these. And oh, we did have another one. Oh damn it! All right. So if I need also that, um, I can actually use. Let's grab a little bit more blood from here. Uh, grab that and grab that for a second. So I can always use this. There you go. So we'll wait for that to harden. Or I can go in here and probably make like this and put blood in these pools. So I don't know which one is faster, but there you go. So we have that one there. And that one, oh, I forgot that doesn't transform. How is it? Oh, I need to smelt it. Okay, so I need to smelt that one. So we'll wait for the other one. And I can grab this one. Oh, no, I cannot. Oh, hmm. All right. So let's smelt that one. I guess you have to do it on this. So we can put that in there. Let's put another one over here. Can I... Uh, let me see here. Yeah, that's going to give me also. Okay, so there's two ways to do that. Very nice. 
So now we're gonna need this and one of these to make another one. So now that we have these two, the rest is easy enough. We have all the materials. Uh, so bronze, one, two, three, so eight bronze, a silicon. Uh, let's double check here. So we have that and we have the a silicon. So now we're gonna need uh, six more bronze. And this time around, I'm gonna throw them in the uh, compactor and not use the hammer like the last time. All right, so now that we know we can do that, we can grab these two like this as well. I don't know which one is easier, but this one, actually at least we don't use coal with that one. Uh, so we can throw that in there as well. Uh, that is, yeah, this is gonna take a while. Uh, so let's see what else we need. Uh, to make that so we need all the rest so two dark gems a furnace uh, Yeah, okay, so all this is easily craftable uh, Let me uh, do that and I'll be right back. All right, so we have the blood infuser very nice so I'm gonna put that one over here for now uh, Because uh, that's gonna require some blood that we can actually put from there and do something like that. I don't know if I can. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually pump from the, those uh, these tanks in here. Okay, it's full. Nice. All right. So um, let's take a look at the quest book because I don't want to go ahead of myself. Uh, we'll get a tanky coolant. Um. As the name suggests, the blood infuser can infuse or fill item with blood. Simply put an item containing blood in the left slot to fill up the internal blood buffer. Okay, so... Vanilla bucket, cell, and blood extractor. The blood infuser is also the only way to gain undead saplings. I'm guessing if I throw a sapling in there, it will be an undead sapling? Or how does that work? Let me uh, see, because I don't recall actually. Uh, dead bush is uh, any bush with shears, so any bush, any sapling, I guess. We need two. And uh, didn't have my shears on me, I guess. No, man, these are almost done, so let's finish this up. Uh, I guess that's not gonna work with that one. Hmm. Does it have to be like shear shears? Yeah, I guess shear shears, maybe. Uh, let's see here. So we'll do that and the saplings and we get to dead bush and I think the dead bush is the one you put in there, right? If I recall. Yeah, that's doing something. Uh, wait a second. I don't know if that's what we need. So we'll wait on that one. On that sapling we need. Yes. Okay. So that's what we need. Uh, assume. Uh, just put the dead bush into a blood infuser and you will get an undead saplings. Uh, that really nice. And undead trees. A bowl of empty promises. That's three dark power gems. And those now can be made in here. So we have two bushes. Now if I grab... I need two actually. I already have one on me. I think I can put them directly in there and that's gonna start working. Very nice. So, man, we're rushing through this uh, mod. I like it. Uh, I, I find the uh, the magical mods are way easier sometimes than the, uh, the technical mod. So we need three of those and then we have to fill the bucket. Yeah. So, Undead Planks. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, book. Oh man, it's sleeping. Uh, sleeping time. <coughs> and let's see how they look like. So, let me actually open up these reward bags in here. So, we have a compass. And that's what I think about the compass. And that in there. Alright, so let me put this stuff away in here that's my temporary chest and we can put yeah let's put all these in here for now just to empty our inventory okay all right the rest we need let's see 
do we have that in there yes we have the three gems we can craft now the bowl okay done perfect so a uh, bowl of empty promises we get another gem which is really nice and some spruce okay so now we need to fill the bowl uh, the bowl of empty promises with evil dust all right let's uh, put that in here evil dust is with a crusher the squeezer uh, dark ore or dark gem that's gonna give me evil dust so we're gonna need one yeah so i'm gonna need two let me double check if there is any easier recipe in here uh the pulverizer is gonna give me also the evil uh the undead lugs we have a chance to get that as well which is really nice and okay so let's grab man i'm running out of these so let's grab the pulverizer for this uh, operation uh, let's go ahead and plant uh, these uh, trees over here and see how they look like. Uh, any mobs around? Yes, I see you. Any other mobs? No. All right. So we'll put that in there. And this one in here. And I should probably grab some... Uh, some bone meal. Alright, let's see. Do I have some bone meal already here? I have a few, but not a lot. So let's grab let's grab half a stack. Put it in here. Now that we have that, we can throw that with this one and get a fill bowl of empty promises which is really nice and we get the mystical fertilizer do i have to use that one for the uh, dead bush i don't know a uh, bowl of promises are used to craft the first tier of upgrade for evil craft machine so that's gonna require uh five thousand millibuckets okay so we'll put that in there we have enough so let's go ahead and fill that out we have seven thousand something and let's take a look oops uh that in here so can i use the regular bone meal or that's gonna require the special bone meal don't know all right oh yeah look at that excellent oh beautiful all right so let's chop this down and see actually i'm gonna go from the top on this one i found it easier to chop down the trees like this very nice and we got some saplings oh we get a dead bush always i think i don't think we get any saplings from this but uh, now we know that with this uh, how many we needed for the quest uh, we needed oh just that okay i'm gonna leave that uh, you can see the leaves are dropping blood which is really nice really creepy <laughs> anyway uh let's go back home okay and uh what did i put in here i put some bone meal uh okay so uh let's do some planks and i'm guessing uh, the planks can be done using actually what am i doing i have the uh sawmill here so let me remove that and put four of these that's uh still going and we have in here the bowl of empty promises really nice man those machines are loud all right so we finished that let me we get another blood extractor with a little bit of blood in there as well so let me put all that blood in here and also this one uh, this is almost empty so we have three blood extractor right now awesome uh, i'm just gonna put them in here for now i'm just gonna keep one on me okay 
so we should have now uh, that and that should complete the quest as well excellent uh, who say only zombies can come from the dead? Undead saplings will grow to undead trees. These trees look like uh, other trees, except that they have undead wood and their trunks and branch, and that their undead leaves spawned by this tree drip with the blood. Uh, yes, very cool. And now, both of them is used to craft the first tier of or of upgrade for evil craft machines. That's probably what is coming. So we're gonna need. A block of iron and 10,000 blood. Excellent. So, block of iron. We should have a block of iron in here. So, we could put that one in there. We need 10,000 blocks. So, we're going to have to use this in there. And that should start crafting the first tier for that machine. Man, I like in this. I like the progress so far. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's empty inventory over here for now. We'll put that and that away. That and that, all this stuff that we don't need right now. Okay, and probably that I don't need it neither. Or the blood cell. Actually, the blood cell. Yeah, we'll put it in there. I don't know if uh, we need to use it or not right now. Uh, mossy cobblestone. I. I do believe I have mossy cobblestone, don't I? Uh, probably if it is, it's in here. Uh, mossy cobblestone, no, I do have the uh, this in here. The uh, Oh, don't freeze on me. Uh, the bloody cobblestone. I thought I had mossy cobblestone. Hmm, let me see, mossy cobblestone. Is there a crafting recipe for that? Uh, vines. All right, so we can use vines to craft that. Uh, we need only two pieces and cobblestone. Uh, do I have regular cobblestone in here? I don't remember. Uh, yes. Okay, we need two pieces. Let's grab six. Uh, we have the shears with us, and we have a tree with a lot of. Uh, vines of it there So let's go ahead and grab some vines uh, No, don't, don't look up All right, so that's gonna be more than enough and that's gonna give me what I want So let's jump and <laughs> I didn't want to do that all right, let's jump ahead to my place. Excellent. All right, I think it's almost time to wrap up the episode, but uh, I wanted to see how far we get uh, on this in here. So let's claim that. Uh, bloody cobblestone that we have. I took that. There you go. And uh, let's just double check. Uh, put mossy cobblestone in the blood infuser to obtain bloody cobblestone. If it's used to craft other machine, you can find them also in souls of dungeons. Yeah, that's what I got it the first time. All right, so let's see. Is the tier done? Yes, it is. So we get that reward as well. Uh, very nice. And we can claim that the Iron Promise Acceptor is used in different machine upgrades. Okay, and then we need to craft the Promise of Tenacity 1. Okay, so that's going to be more involved. And also we need blank slates that we don't have because we haven't started with Blood Magic. Uh, that's too bad. Okay, so at least... Uh, what's the recipe of that? Yeah, these are regular ones. All right, but at least let me actually uh, delete these from here. Um, at least I think... This is a good way to play the pack. You go how far as you get until you um, dark stick, until you reach a, a block, right? So that's gonna dark gem. Let's actually complete that one also. Uh, so that, and I'm gonna need those uh, blocks in here. So you and you, that's gonna give me the four that I need for the quest. All right, very good. Dark sticks. 
and the Vengeance Pickaxe. Oh boy. All right, that's also a nice rod block right now, but we could craft that block of diamond. So all this is craftable. I just need to farm more dark gems. Is there a way to get dark gem that is not farming? No, I think it's the only way. Yeah, it's only 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 way. But this looks like a nice pickaxe. Uh, and what is this? Majestic component, luminescence, black iron. Majestic ingots actually, didn't we find some? Yeah, we have three. Uh, we're gonna need two actually. So that can be done. This is doable as well. And um, black iron ingots, if I recall, is just ink sack and that. So that's not actually a crazy recipe. I'm gonna mark it. And uh, as soon as I have more dark gems, because I have only one, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit more. I'm gonna need three more at least. So yeah uh, so in between episode what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna start working a little bit on botania as well uh or maybe we i could start right away an next episode and start doing these yeah that's probably a good idea maybe the next episode also will be dark magic and then we'll jump into the white magic till we can reach a limit that we cannot progress anymore and we'll have to continue with um, with the tech stuff <laughs> just to take a break from tech stuff. Anyway, uh, let's take a look what we got in here. Uh, probably nothing good as always. This is actually not bad, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and pew pew. I disappeared. <laughs> Very nice. See you guys. Bye bye.